today starts with uh, that is the packaging of the that uh, products end products like and uh, packaging is packaging is the science art and technology of enclosing or protecting products of the products for distribution refer to the process of designing evaluating and producing packages packages can be described as coordinated system of preparing goods and goods for transport and warehousing logistics scale and end use packaging contains protects preservers transports uh, informs and sells in many countries it is uh, fully integrated into government business institutional industrial and personal uses the packaging is designed to contain a product so that uh, it is unable to interact with the environment packaging must provide the protection identifications information against the physical damage loss of content are ingredients and uh, intrusions of unwanted component of the environment such as water vapors oxygen and light a pharmaceutical package container is an article or device which contains the uh, pharmaceutical product and the container may or may not in direct contact with the product the container which is designed for pharmaceutical purpose must be stable and uh, next coming to the history of uh, this uh, packing brief just one minute uh, brief history of uh, packaging and uh, it is not uh, in this slide and uh, the history the first package used the natural materials available at the time of uh, uh, baskets of reeds Uh, bota bags wooden box pottery uses ceramic uh, m4 uh, woven bags used in the ancient days and when persian travels uh, visiting markets in koryo arab visit noted that vegetable spices and uh, hardware were wrapped in paper for uh, customers after they were sold and in the coming to the modern era Uh, tin plate used to the 18th century onwards and uh, coming in the 10th 20th century uh, bakelite closures on uh, bottles uh, transparent uh, cellophane and uh, panels and cottons aluminum types of plastics are used and as 2003 the packaging uh, sectors accounted for about 2% of uh, gross national product is developed countries in uh, in this way the history will be developed developed means the packaging will be developed and progressed and the different variety of uh, material should be used for the after 20th century onwards and uh, usually the uh, purpose of packaging and package labels are having several objectives and uh, let me but uh, it is not in the ppt and uh, physical protection the first one is physical protection in the physical protection the objects enclosed in the package uh, may require protection from among other things um, mechanical shock vibrations electrostatic discharge compression temperatures this is like uh, you can protect the uh, from uh, physical problems during when you are packing should be started that's why the packaging is very important and uh, next barrier protection the barrier uh, to oxygen water vapors dust etc is uh, often required and third one is uh, containment or uh, agglomerations the small objects are uh, typically grouped together in one package for reasons of storage and selling efficiency for example single box of uh, 100 uh, marble uh, requires less physical uh, handling than 1000 single marbles and uh, another one is that is the information transfer transmission and uh, for the information transmission package and labels communicate how to use 
transport, recycle, or dispose of the package of the products. And uh, mark, coming to the marketing, the marketing uh, is packaging and labels can be used by marketers to encourage potential buyers to purchase of the products. Security and uh, packaging can play an important role in uh, reducing the security risk of uh, shipment. And convenience, the last one is convenience. It can be uh, features that add convenience in, in the in distribution, handling, stocking, display, safe, opening, uh, negligence, using, dispensing, uh, reusing, recycling, and easy of uh, disposable. And uh, light, what is difference between and packaging and labeling means packaging protects a product from external contamination while often also consisting constituting a form of uh, advertising to um, build brand awareness and identity. Labeling uh, of a product fulfills uh, legal uh, requirements regarding ingredients and nutritional uh, safety information. And uh, coming to the legal uh, requirements, for the legal uh, requirement purpose, different countries place certain legal requirements uh, and re restrictions on both labeling and packaging. In the United States, for uh, example, like food labels are required to certain information regarding the amount of fat, protein, carbohydrates, and the calories values for a standard serving of the food. <laughs> <laughs> packaging requirements exist in most countries uh, for uh, perishable food products such as meat in certain markets requirement are in place concerning the ecological impact of uh, packaging and uh, labeling and uh, coming to the that is the uh, ideal qualities of uh, pharmaceutical packages are it should have sufficient mechanical strength so as to withstand handling, filling, closing and transform, transformation and uh, it should not react with the contents stored in it. It should be of such shape that can be elegant and also content can be easily drawn from it. It should not uh, leach alkali in the contents. The container should not support mold growth. The container must bear the heat and it is to be sterilized. The contents of container should not be absorbed by the container. The material should for making the container should be in, uh, new, in, neutral or inert. Any part of the container or closer uh, should not react with each other. The last one is closer should be of non-toxic nature and chemically stable with container contents. And uh, next coming to the types of uh, packaging, that is a uh, different variety of uh, types are there. It is depending on the drug and depending on the product, different variety of uh, packaging should be used. The grossly, the grossly, the commonly three variety of uh, packaging will be there. One is uh, primary packaging, secondary packaging and the tertiary packaging. The first one is primary packaging. The primary packaging are those packages which are in direct contact with the pharmaceutical formulation. The main aim of primary package is to protect the formulation from the environmental, chemical, mechanical, and other hazards. And in the primary package, this is includes uh, like uh, containers are uh, receptacles that hold, protect, and organize products and materials during uh, storage and the transport. It is used by nearly every industry including airspace, appliances, automotive, beverage, chemicals, constructions and consumer goods. And uh, coming to the secondary package, uh, that is package external to primary package is known as a secondary package. This package provide additional protection storing, uh, warehousing and also provide information about drug product for example leaflets and uh, third one is territory packaging it is the outer 
package of secondary packaging and prevents damage to the products it is used for the bulk handling and shipping examples barrel crates containers pallets ship sheets slip sheets these are uh, considered as a three variety of packaging primary secondary and tertiary uh, when you are the product is very soft very delicate and you can use for the packaging of the three variety of packaging also can be used for the some of the products and um, what are the main functions of this uh, packaging one is the attract and buyers attention attention second one is protect goods inside the packaging when you are transportation and any one thing be easy to open and use because uh, when you are uh, usually routine, uh, routinely capsules or uh, tablets or powders usually sometimes very uh, difficult to open that uh, packaging it is not like that because easy to open the uh, packaging and uh, describe and give info about the contents and uh, explain the benefits of the good inside provide warranty warning and consumer uh, more, uh, matter information these are all the seven functions of the packaging this is the main aim of the packaging and uh, coming to the components of the packaging uh, like that is uh, the contents the containers refer in which the product medicine is placed and enclosed it is direct contact with drug and uh, the first one is closer it is tightly packs the container to exclude oxygen carbon dioxide moisture and prevents the loss of water and volatile substance from the products and uh, that is a cotton or outer which gives a secondary protection against mechanical and other environmental hazards it is outer covering and cartons are made up of uh, cardboard and wood pulp and uh, boxes uh, in this multiples of uh, products are packed it provides uh, primary defense against external hazards the boxes are made up of uh, thick cardboard and wood and uh, coming to the packaging materials uh, regarding the materials uh, what are the materials properties Uh, in the form of mechanical, physicochemical, biological properties, economical aspect, pharmaceutical properties, they must be non-toxic usually. In this way, we can consider and we can very much concentration regarding the properties of the that particular in the form of physical, physicochemical, mechanical, biological, economical, pharmaceutical, and uh, almost the packing materials are having non-toxic. in this way you can any one materials should be used in the packaging purpose you can concentrate these all points uh, coming to the types of uh, that is the packaging materials the first one commonly used for the glass base and uh, usually uh, this uh, point contains uh, types of uh, packing materials uh, and including properties and uh, if it is types will be there types includes in the point and the first one is glasses the properties of glasses are it is very hard chemically resistant structure is less rigid so low melting point glass made up of pure silica and uh, in the glasses many types are there among them this is uh, very more uh, four important uh, types the type 1 and uh, borosilicate glass it is usually used in the laboratory glass apparatus for water for injection and type 2 treated sodalamine glass for alkali sensitive products in infusion fluids blood and plasma large volume of cut this type 2 usually used for this purpose and type 3 regular sodalamine glass and topical uses for extra oral use not for ampoules because you are this third type we are not preparing the ampoules and type 4 and general purpose sodalamine glass topical use for oral use not for ampoules and uh, that is a uh, la last one is colored glass the photosensitive product should be uh, used and uh, the second one uh, materials that is the metals uh, metal properties like metal containers are strong relatively unbreakable opaque and uh, resistance to chemical attack 
uh, impervious to water vapors, bacteria, and readily coat a number of metals. Uh, in these metals, many of the types, among them three varieties, the aluminium, iron, and lead. For aluminium, aluminium ointment tubes, screw caps. And for iron, fabrications of milk containers, screw caps, and aerosol cans should be used. And lead with lining lead tubes are used for the products such as fluoride toothpaste. And in this way, the metal should be used for the packaging purpose of the, some of the products. And uh, next one, plastics. Commonly, wide ranges uses of these plastics. And the properties like robust, strong, light, asynthetic, and the plastics are uh, synthetic polymers of uh, high molecules, molecular weight, easy to handle. They are uh, poor conductor of heat. A uh, disadvantage is uh, if the content is to be autoclaved. Uh, very few types of plastics uh, uh, completely prevent the entry of water vapors, uh, and uh, some are permeable to gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide. And uh, types of plastics, thermoplastic type, thermosetting type. And uh, the first one is thermoplastic type. On heating, they soften to a viscous fluid, which la hardens again on cooling. Example, polyethylene, mm, uh, polypropylene, and PVC, polystyrene, and uh, nylon, etc. And the second one is thermosetting type, and heated. They may become flexible, but they do not become liquid. Uh, usually hard and brittle at room temperature. Example, phenol and um, uh, formaldehyde, urea. And uh, the, coming to the, the last one, rubber. And uh, the, commonly, the properties of rubber, natural rubber, consists of uh, long chain polymers of uh, isoprene units linked together in the uh, cis uh, portions. Its most important sources is the uh, tree hevera resilience from which latex containing 30 to 40 percent of uh, rubber in uh, colloidal suspensions exude and shallow cuts are made in the bar. And the types of uh, butyl rubber Permeability for the butyl rubber, permeability to water vapor and air is very low and water absorption is very low. And second one is uh, neutral rubber advantages, oil resistance due to the polar neutral group heat resistance. And the third one is uh, chloroprene rubber uh, due to the presence of uh, chlorine group of uh, close to the double bond. So, the bond is resistant to oxidation, hence these rubber a, rubbers age well. This rubber is more popular, hence oil resistance. Heat stability is also good, up to 1500 degrees Celsius. The last one is silicon rubbers. This is also heat resistance will be there, and more than 2500 degrees Celsius, extremely low absorption and permeability of water, and the poor tensile strength. In this way, uh, that is, uh, materials should be used for the packaging purpose. And uh, this is uh, completed regarding the pack, regarding only packaging. And uh, in uh, the part second, the labeling will be present and the closing the packaging and the labeling. Now, this will be completed regarding the brief information about packaging. Thank you. Thank you, and all. session